Hello, Frackheads. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And in my opinion, it's the best time to wear the most gourmand perfume in my collection. If you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. So if that sounds appealing to you, then please do keep watching and maybe consider subscribing. As you saw in the title, I will be talking about 10 perfumes today that are photorealistic gourmands. These perfumes are sweet. So if you are the type who don't like extremely sweet fragrances, then this video might not be for you. However, if you are the type who's craving for photorealistic, extremely sweet kind of fragrances, this video is for you. I decided to do a casual video today, like I didn't even prepare any kind of notes in today's video, as I want it to be as casual as possible as I discuss with you the kind of dessert that I picture in my mind upon smelling these fragrances. This is in no particular order. So, the very first fragrance is Le Et Chocolat by Chabot. I featured this in my best chocolate fragrances video and basically when I smell this, what I picture in my head is a milk chocolate bar melted in warm condensed milk. That is the fragrance that I am getting from this bottle. It is extremely delicious and I think if you are a lover of chocolate fragrance, you will love this one. When it comes to longevity, this lasts around four to six hours on me. It's not extremely, extremely sweet because this has a jasmine note that slowly picks through as it dries down. So it is still very gourmand. However, the jasmine note in here kind of like controlled the, the sweetness that is coming out of this fragrance. Definitely gourmand and highly recommend if you are looking for a milk chocolate bar melted in condensed milk. Leia Chocolat by Chabot. So now I'm going to talk about the brand that came to my mind when I thought about doing this topic. And for sure, you know what I'm talking about. You know the brand I'm talking about. It is the brand of Theodoros Kalutinis from Greece. And I'm going to start off with their bestseller. I think this is the fragrance that made Theodoros Kalutinis known in the perfume world. And this is Coffee Addict. I only have a sample size, by the way. And this fragrance is basically a tiramisu. So if you want to smell like a tiramisu, then this is it. This is it, guys. And mind you, this is a very inexpensive fragrance. And what you're actually getting out of these fragrances from Chodoros Calutinis is the high quality ingredients and the art behind it. Because like, come on, how can this smells like a photorealistic tiramisu, right? This is absolutely delectable, last and projects. Um, this is one of the strongest, I think, from his collection. And yes, highly recommend if you want to smell like tiramisu. And by the way, this has a very strong projection as well, okay? So that is Coffee Addict by Teodoro Scalutinis. Next up is Lemon Tart from Teodoro's once again. 
by the way this video is not sponsored by any means um, i've only received one uh, fragrance from theodoros ever since so most of these fragrances i bought myself I just feel like he is the king of photorealistic gourmands. That's why you're going to see a lot of his fragrances in today's video. Okay, now having said that, let's go back to lemon tart. What does this smell like? A lemon meringue tart. Imagine entering a bakery specializing in lemon meringue tart. This is it. This is it, guys. This in the opening smells more of like the filling of a lemon meringue tart. Mm, so basically, it's that whipped cream, lemon zest, and I don't know, just something fluffy. It is very fluffy and addictive in the opening. And of course, with that zestiness coming from the lemon, mm, this is smelling so good. Um, yeah, so that is the opening of this fragrance. However, in the dry down, it becomes more vanillic. And it is still absolutely divine. I personally think that this is a very good summer gourmand. However, of course, you can wear this as well anytime you want to smell like a lemon meringue tart. Um, when it comes to longevity and projection, this lasts around four to six hours with moderate projection. So having said that, not the same uh, like coffee addict when it comes to projection. And um, yeah, highly recommend lemon tart if you want to smell like the bakery itself who produces lemon meringue tart. And next up is Velvet Chocolate by Tudoris Calutinis once again. And basically this smells like, oh my God, mm, a super moist chocolate cake with luxurious dark chocolate powder on top yes oh my god sorry i thought like i just jumped in a velvet chocolate cake <laughs> kind of mm, bed it is so good um well i think it's because i love chocolate myself in a fragrance so Mm, this is definitely an edible type of gourmand. So if you love the idea of smelling like a moist chocolate cake with loads of dark chocolate powder on top, highly recommend Velvet Chocolate. Um, this to me lasts around 6 to 8 hours, by the way, and it has a moderate projection. Velvet Chocolate by Tudoros Calutinis. All right, so next up is the last from Tudoros Calutinis in today's video. And you know what's next, right? Caramel Oud. This is his latest fragrance release. And what can I say? It smells like a toffee caramel bar melting in like i don't know a leather bag <laughs> oh my this is very dense and thick it's a kind of fragrance that will cut through the cold in my opinion definitely a winter gourmand because this is very strong and potent guys i think if you spray more than four it can be cloying, so just be careful. However, this fragrance to me smells like ooey gooey toffee caramel bar. Yes, it has that saffron and leather vibe. However, it's only in the background. 
this to me is like 80% caramel. So definitely gourmand and highly recommend if you're looking for sticky, ooey gooey kind of caramel that will cut through the cold this winter time. Um, caramel Oud by Teodoros Calutinis. All right, next up is another winter gourmand, and this is Baklava Royale by Navitus Parfums. What can I say? This smells like a pistachio baklava drizzled with loads of honey. Mm. This is very, very delectable and gourmand to me. Mm. This is an extra de parfum. So imagine that this is strong and potent as well. Will definitely cut through the cold. Mm. It is very nutty, like it has almond and pistachio, I think. And the pistachio here is so good. It is a photorealistic pistachio together with toasted almonds drizzled in honey in between the layers of the dough of a baklava. This is absolutely delectable and yeah, will highly recommend as a winter gourmand. When it comes to longevity, this one lasts around eight plus hours with strong projection for the first two hours until it becomes moderate. Baklava Royale from Nabitus if you want to smell like a pistachio baklava. The next one is another dessert and this is Panettone by Milano Fragrance. And this smells like Panettone that is quite known during Christmas time. This is so good. Um, panettone, just in case you're not yet familiar, is a dessert that is originally from Milan, I think. And it is a bread with some honeyed nuts and sweet dried fruits. And this is just heaven to me. This smells like Christmas. I am reminded of my Milan trips in December as uh, we normally go to this specific restaurant in Milan. And at the end of our meal is like a free panettone cake from the owner of the restaurant. And I am just reminded of that. It's, yeah. It's amazing how fragrances actually transport you to experiences and memories. Mm, I love this one. So if the thought of smelling like a uh, doughy bread with dried fruits and honeyed and sugared nuts appeal to you, highly recommend Panettone by Milano Fragrance. Next up is Jenny from Suadora, and I only have a sample size and oh my, now we're gonna talk about apple and cinnamon pie with loads of caramel inside, okay? Mm, this is so good. Um, yeah, so having said that, this basically smells like yeah, an apple cinnamon pie with loads of caramel inside paired with vanilla ice cream. Absolutely delicious. Um, this reminds me of the scent of Christmas. Mm, and if you watch my previous video, I told the story why. And I just love this fragrance. It's very nostalgic for me as it reminds me of December times uh, when I was still living in Dubai. Um, I am thinking of using this as my Christmas Eve scent actually tomorrow. So yes, I'm very excited. Highly recommend this guys. It lasts on me as well for around eight plus hours. Um, Jenny 
by Soradora. If you want to smell like apple and cinnamon pie. Mm. Speaking of apple and cinnamon, the next is a Middle Eastern uh, perfume. And this is Camera by Latafa. Like, who else doesn't know about Camera, right? This is a very hyped Middle Eastern perfume for a reason. Um, to me, this is extremely gourmand and sweet, of course. And it reminds me of the scent of glue wine. You know, it is basically like warm wine that you find in Christmas markets. And mm, I've been to Christmas markets in Germany several times. And this fragrance definitely reminds me of drinking that warm um, glue wine that is just comforting when it's extremely cold outside. Um, this has dates, I think, apple and some booziness. I think it has cinnamon as well. I, I love this fragrance, especially this time of the year. And um, when it comes to longevity and projection, this one lasts on me for eight plus hours with strong projection. Camera by Latafa. So next up is Lira by Zerjov under the Casamorati line. Oops, doesn't focus. Um, basically, this is a lemon cheesecake. Yeah, that's how it smells like. However, this is such a refined lemon cheesecake, okay? Mm, it is zesty and citrusy it has a very sweet vanilla that is not cloying um i love this fragrance this was my scent last year's christmas eve this just reminds me of christmas time as well and i think uh, for a lot of people because this fragrance is very well known for being the original winter gourmand in the perfume world. Lyra by Zerjov. And longevity and projection of this one is quite okay. Less around four to six hours on me though with moderate projection. Okay. And last but not the least is the OG of all the perfume gourmands and this is from search of as well and this is italica and you guys this basically smells like almond marzipan yeah this is a very nutty fragrance um of course because of the heavy dose of almond here and it has a very prominent toffee note as well to my nose. Mm, this is a little bit fluffy as well, so it just smells very comforting. Um, this has a very, very strong projection um, and it lasts forever, okay? I know that this was described as one of the best gourmands in the market and I'm gonna agree on that. I know a lot of people don't like this fragrance and I'm one of the people who actually love the scent of this fragrance as well as um, the strong projection and longevity that it has. Definitely love this and I'm still looking forward to buy a bottle of this as my sample is really running out. This particular fragrance though, I only wear it this time of the year and um yeah hopefully i can buy a bottle soon italica by zerjov if you want to smell like an almond marzipan all right so that is the video for today guys very easy and delicious kind of video i know it made my mouth water and maybe yours too um uh, 
I love this time of the year wearing or like just smelling this kind of fragrances. Now, I want to know what will you wear for Christmas Eve tomorrow? As I've shared already mine, I'll be wearing Jenny by Soradora. What will be yours? Please let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you on my next one. Merry Christmas, guys. And I hope that you enjoy this fantastic time of the year with your loved ones. Bye-bye. Kisses.